In this video, we'll see the advanced filter. If I want to create multiple filters at one go, how do I create it? That is only available in the newer version of Rational Dose Next Generation, that is advanced filter. So here is a button here, add a text filter and I can click on plus sign. So this is only available in the newer version. So previously we used to do from here, filter by tag, filter by folder, but let's see now how to create multiple filters. So I'll just click on this plus sign, the very first filter. I want first filter as let's say uh, artifact type. I want all artifact type which should be of let's say business rule. So I'll click on this business rule and click on add and close. So I have got all the artifact types which is, which is of the business rule. Second is I want one more artifact type or uh, I can say as one more uh, filter. Let's say I want status. Status should be as approved. I do not want everything, all the status only approved. So how do I get it? So I can keep on clicking on this plus sign to get one more attribute or you can say it's one more filter. So if I click on this plus sign, I want uh, the status. The status should be as approved and I'll click on add and close. So I've got all the business rules first thing that was the first filter. Second filter, everything should be as approved. So I've got both the filters. So this way you can keep on creating nesting multiple filters. Now it says one is artifact type business rule. Second, it says status is as of approved. So this comes in the horizontal manner. If I want to see in this place, so it says artifact type is any of business rule and second is status is approved. So this way you can keep on creating multiple filters so that it narrows your requirement, whatever is given and you can find out. Now this one, if you want to add to collection or create a review report, anything. So I can just select that and click on this place. I can create a review report. I can send to collection create a model and so on. So multiple things are possible. So I hope you're able to understand how to create nested filters into your artifacts. That's all for this video.